Ah, shit. I <coughs> got to fucking... Hey guys, it's William and welcome to my CD collection thingy. Um, if you want to know why the hell are you doing this? Why not? Uh, it's like the Gorillaz collection video, but instead of just Gorillaz, it's just many other uh, bands and artists. And also, uh, just let you know what other stuff I'm listening to. I don't really listen to gorillas, believe it or not. But um, yeah, let's head on to this video right now. Um, I haven't completely heard everything in one of these albums, so here's a disclaimer. <laughs> so we go in an alphabetical order, and we're starting with 50 Cent, Get Rich or Die Trying. There's the cool tracks on here that I like. I haven't heard all of them. <laughs> but, um, yeah. This is, this is a pretty iconic album. A lot of people know this. Check on the inside. Yeah. Um, there's a second disc in my version. Because I don't think all versions have this. But, um, yeah. It includes, um, does it say in the back? No, it doesn't say... But I think it has like a cappella of in the club, which okay. <laughs> I'm starting from, with another 50 Cent album, The Massacre. I haven't checked this one out a lot, but yeah. And now this one's a audiobook thingy, and it's called Morbidly Horowitz. It's like Anthony Horowitz, but a stories book. It's like audiobooks, but. <laughs> Yeah, six CDs in here. You see a lot more in, under there, but yeah, I've only listened to this like once. I haven't listened to this in entirety, but it was one quid, if I remember, when I found it. So I guess it's solid enough. Um, <clears throat> oh god! Next up is the only Beatles album on this bunch. And it's number and it's one, the uh, collection of all their number ones, which is pretty cool if I do say so myself. You check it inside. Yeah, I've been big on Beatles recently, so this is a very good thing to get if you start going like if you start being huge with the Beatles. I'll say so. And uh, yeah. Um. Next up, we have Blur. Park Life. This is like a bit of a crappy version I got from Music Magpie. It was like one quid. Like who wouldn't not who would not accept that deal? Um it's actually a pretty solid album. I've heard this in entirety. And my favourite tracks, Girls and Boys, End of a Century, Park Life, Bank Holiday, um London Loves. Uh, and I think that's it. Those are my favourite tracks on there. But yeah, I probably would give this a 9 out of 10 album. It's a very good album. And then next up is the own uh, last Blur album I have on the bunch. The Best of Album. Which is, believe it or not, the best of Blur. I have all their singles. You check in here. Not a very creative disc, but. It's better than Kanye West to Jesus, which we'll get to that. Uh, next up, we got Childish Gambino albums, starting with Awaken My Love. Um, I was, you know what, if you talk to me like a couple, like a year back, I'll probably say this is my least favourite album from him. But that's probably my op opposite now. Probably my second or most favourite album from him. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty solid album as well. Um, I haven't heard it in entirety, but... Me and Your mom, Mama and um, Redbone might be my favourite ones. Which... Yeah. <coughs> God. <coughs> Sorry if you're bored by this. Um, next up, Because the Internet. Um, a very fucking great album, I'll say so myself. This is what the inside looks like. Very trippy as hell um what else can i say it has hits it has songs like 3005 and sweatpants on there which awesome <laughs> and yeah 
last Charles Gambino album on the list, Camp. Um, it's a bit of a cool enough album. My bow tracks have to be Bonfire, um, L.E.S. as well, Less, and um, maybe Heartbeat, but the rest of them ain't that great. Ain't the best Gambino album ever. And um, checking the inside. Yeah. Yeah, Travis Scotch. <laughs> um, then next up is the only Coldplay album I have on a bunch. Um, Head Full of Dreams. Yes, I do like this album. Don't bully me. Um, second it back. And it's in a cardboard sleeve, which is cool. And um, yeah, I do. This is a pretty solid album overall. My vote tracks have to be um. Hem of a lifetime. Um, trying to think of more. Uh, Avenger, uh, yeah, Avenger lifetime. Him, him for the weekend. Amazing day, and um, the second part of Army of One. They're pretty good, and um, yeah. And the last one, which I've never listened to at all. Right, I have heard a couple of tracks, but I haven't listened to this disc yet. I got it because it was in like three for one quid deal and it was a album that I've heard of because of one song but D12 World by D12 um checking the back check what's inside yeah I the only track I've heard on this is my band which says over there on the bottom yeah I can't say much in that I haven't really heard of this one in, in its entirety so I guess you can so. About this next bunch, we start with Everyday Robots by Damon Albarn. Probably his most underrated work and probably one of his best works he ever he has ever made in his entire career. And that goes up with Gorillas and um Blur, which is probably says a lot. Don't know about you guys. But um my favorite tracks, Everyday Robot, Robot, Mr. Tembo. Selfish Giant is good. It's uh, You and Me. And Hollow Pond. Those are my favourite tracks on here. Check on the inside. Yeah. Uh, yeah, check it out if you haven't heard this. It's a very fucking great album. Um, Next up, we have Monkey. Journey to the, Journey to the West. I thought it was Journey Through the West at first. <laughs> I haven't heard this album in completely. I, it's one of those albums I just put on just because it's mostly just background music. Um, but yeah, it's based off a um, play that and Damon Albarn and Jimmy Hewlett did together, which makes it pretty cool. The artwork is from Jamie Hewlett. You see inside here. And there's like a little booklet inside as well, which I won't go deep into this far in this video because... It will be pretty long, and I think the video will be pretty long anyway, so there's no need. And then we have Dr. Dre, 2001. I haven't gone back to this album that much, but it's still pretty solid. There's some, there's plenty of classic hip-hop songs on here, such as um, Deal with DRE, uh, Lots of Difference, Forgot About Dre, the next episode, and one I really like, uh, Murder, Inc., I haven't heard this album in full as well, so there's probably more better ones in here. But yeah, no, nothing much more to say. <laughs> um, now next, now we start with an, uh, the first artist that would have that does have a big collection of CDs, which is Eminem. So we're gonna quickly go through the, these albums. See these quickly. So the first single and the only single I have, uh, Guilty Con Conscience. Check on the inside. Yeah, first uh, single I think. No, that goes to my name or something. I don't remember. I need to quickly go back through this. Uh, the Eminem's first album, the uh, some shitty LP. Pretty cool. I haven't gone back to this album pretty a lot because I've been going through new music that I've been listening to. Uh, but it's still a pretty solid album. Um, my favorite tracks: Guilt of Conscience, uh, Role Model, 
uh, rock bottom, bottom, just don't give a F, oh, you know what, screw it, J just don't give a fuck, <laughs> uh, and I'm Shady, and my name is good as well, but not as great as those other tracks. Next up is the Slim Shady LP Expanded Edition, that came out last year, it includes a second disc, of just like either uh, freestyles or extra songs that Eminem did back then, around that time. Um, yeah, I've listened to the second disc only once, but if you like collecting Eminem stuff or you never had the album before, go and buy this. It's still a, it's still a really cool thing to have if you're a collector or just want new Eminem stuff. From his old stuff on <laughs> Um next up is the Marshall Mathers LP. A lot of people know this album. Leave on <laughs> Um this is the inside. My favourite tracks on here might be um Stan is pretty good. Uh The Way I Am, The Real Slim Shady, Remember Me, I'm Back, Marshall Mathers, Amity nah Amity Field got ruined by Bizarre in my opinion. Uh Bitch Please too. Um Kim is I used to like I like it a lot less than I did before. Uh, uh, Under the influence is kind of the same thing, but less to less of Kim's thing. I don't know, but it's still a pretty solid album. I'll probably give it a ten, uh, nine, not a ten, uh, nine out of ten. But yeah. Next up is the Eminem Show. Uh, not another album that we don't need introduction to. My vote tracks might be What America, Business. Clean Up My Closet, Soldier, Without Me, Sing For A Moment, and Till I Collapse. This is the inside. Um, next up is Encore, the album that people think is the worst album. Um, just checking it back, my favourite songs might have to be... Um, I feel like Tall Soldiers is pretty good, Mosh is same. Oh, Low-key, like Big Weenie, but... I ironic reasons. Um just lose it is fine. Uh Mockingbird is pretty good. One of my favourites. One shot two shot is pretty catchy and Encore is pretty good. Um this is the inside. I actually like a disc for Encore. I don't know why. I just really like the way that it looks. Even though it's a bit depressing. Um yeah. I don't uh, it's it's definitely his worst album in my opinion, but it's still fine. This is the first Eminem CD I think I got, and this is um, Eminem Curtain Call. Check on the back and check on the inside. And I, I don't know what to say since it's a it's a compilation album, and I don't say. But yeah, it includes uh, new tracks like Fac, which is. Beautiful. Um, when I'm gone is a pretty solid song, uh, and um, shake that, which is a bop. Um, and now we go to um, relapse, and so let's add this one as well. Relapse, we feel. Um, the difference between these two is that this uh, relapse, we feel, has extra songs, uh, two disc worth, and. Um, if you want to, um, my favourite songs on here might have to be, um, Insane, uh, Same Song to Dance, Remade You's Good, Old Time's Sake, and, uh, Deja Vu, um, and, and Forever, Forever's good as well, uh, yeah, it's, I like the album, it's fine, um, and then we have Recovery, uh, uh, the only song I could really like is Cold Wind Blows, but I do also like Not Afraid. I don't like Love Away a lot. I, I think that's overrated as hell. But we're checking the inside. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's, it's an air album. It's not the greatest, but it's still solid either way. Next album is uh, the Marshall Mathers LP2. Um, my favourite tracks on here might have to be Bad Guy's pretty good. Um, 
survival, berserk, rap god, and a uh, love game and evil twin. Um, I like this album. It's pretty uh, nice. Let me check the inside. I do like the disc as well. I don't. It just looks very cool. I like the little scratch things on there. And you see Eminem sitting on the house, which I think is the house of the one of the alternate covers in Marshall Mathers LP one, which is pretty weird when you just look at it, the house now. But yeah, pretty good album. Next up is an album that I don't think is official, but Marshall Mathers LP three. I found it in H and B, then I and I thought, hey. What is this? I'm gonna check this out. And um I haven't even fully listened to this album, but when you find out I found out when listening to it, it's just a remix of all these other songs, but they're just titled differently. So I don't know. I don't think it's legal, but HV sells it so party is. <laughs> this is the inside. Um yeah, I wish I could get my money and the money back, but yeah, have it now. Nothing much I can do. Next up is Revival. Yes, the album that a lot of people don't like. Um, I, yeah, I'm a bit in the middle with this one. It's just painting songs are good, like Rock and Water, Believe, Chloroseptic. I like Untouchable, um, Framed. Offended, Castle, and the final track of Rose, but there's tracks I'm not a big fan of, like w River, Heat, and Remind Me. But, yeah, I, I, when people say it's like the worst album ever, I don't think it is, in my opinion at least. There's still good songs on there, it's just not as good as his other albums. This is the inside. And, um, yeah. Um, now we on to the other album that came out a year later, Kamikaze. Um, my favorite, my favorite tracks on here might have to be uh, The Ringer, Greatest, Lucky You, Stepping Stone, Not Like, and Venom. As much as people don't like that track, Venom, but I think it's solid enough. I, I actually like kind, I kind of like the chorus. It's a bit, it might be a bit annoying, but. I think it's catchy. Uh, this is the in inside, and uh, this is my the end of the Eminem thingy. Thingy. I might get. I will probably get music to be murdered by later, but right now I don't have it, so I can't do much. So we off to another batch of albums from the same band, and guess, um, believe it or not, it's Gorillaz. Yes, they're making a return. You might as well just check my la last Grizz collection video. But, yeah, save you the time. I just gotta quicker go through this. So, first up, Tomorrow Comes a Day EP. I like this mainly because he has the Latin Simone English version. And it's still a good batch of songs. So, um, yeah. Next up, Clint Eastwood single. It includes Clint Eastwood, The Refix. And Dracula. Next up, 192,000. We check over here. Uh, there's 92,000, the Soul, Soul Child remix, the Left Hand Suzuki Method, and 192,000 making another video. Now we go for the albums. Gorilla Self Titled. My favourite Gorilla's album. I'll probably give this a 10 out of 10, believe it or not. Um, uh, my favourite tracks might have to be Tomorrow Come Today, New Genius, Clean Eastwood's really good, um, Punk, Sound Reach, Sound Check, Double Bass, um, Slow Country, Not M1A1, and Screw It. Let's bring the Soul Child remix in it, in it as well. Very good album. This is the deluxe version of uh, Good Self Titled. This is the inside. Yeah, it includes a booklet as well, but might as well speed up this for now. Oh god. Oh shit. <laughs> um 
his G side, mm, the superior B side album out of G sides and D sides. I'm alright to fight with that. My favourite track on here is Faust. Faust. But there's also the Sounder and Ghost Train is fine. The Feel Life Cypher version of Clint Eastwood is a track I normally don't go back to, but still a solid song. Um, that's Han Suzuki Method and 1 2 D 3. It's pretty good. Um, this is the inside of the album. They made this. So that Japanese uh, listeners could go and in, uh, get into Gorilla Switch. Cool. <laughs> Next up is Waker Come Home. I'm not a big fan of this album. I don't like the remixes on the other. They exist. Um, I do like Come Again a bit, but that's it for now. Um, this is the uh, in, inside. Now we go to phase two, starting with Demon Days. I think it's like a promo CD, but uh, yeah, it only has I think it only has Feel Good Inc. now, which yeah makes sense. Um, next up we have Dirty Harry. This is the back. It includes Dirty Harry and All Alone Live. I found it's like three versions of Dirty Harry on CD, which. Okay, and <laughs> um, now we go into Demon Days. Everyone knows this album. Your grandma probably even knows it. <laughs> um, I need to stop laughing at my own jokes. I'm, I'm a bit ugly. Um, my favorite tracks have to be Last Living Souls, Kids with Guns, O Green World, Dirty Harry. <laughs> Actually, I don't like every single one of these tracks. Most of these tracks are pretty good though. Um, o Green World. That's Same Souls, Day Harry, Feel Good Inc., El Manana, Every Pound of Beauty is Dead, November has Come, Bright Light, There, and Fire Coming Out of Monkey's Head is, are my favourite tracks on here. But yeah, there's nothing much to go to say about the Ewing Days. It's a pretty good album. Everyone, nearly everyone knows it. Mainly because it's cover, but yeah. This is another version of Demon Days. The, um, it's like. The only thing that's changed from here is at the inside you get to see like ringtones and that stuff that MTV gave to people and you have to pay for those which <laughs> um, next up is a I'm not sure what version a uh, special version of this is but it, it, it includes a Hong Kong live version so I guess it brings that the advantage and you would check on the inside it's a pretty cool thing to have I don't think a lot of people have this but if I actually see a Gris collection video with that on there then hey be buds next up is this it, it doesn't it, it's not the full version of this limited edition but it it's a bit disappointing in a way but what can we do so it what happens is there's folds if you see murdoch the murdoch that goes to russell the russell goes to 2d then fold them over then we get the album which it's a pretty cool way to open up an album but i'm not sure what it does to the cd but well, it's still a cool thing to have um and then we have d sides i don't like this album that much but my favorite tracks have to be um, We Are Happy Landfill, Hong Kong, Highway, and Murdoch is God, and Stop the Dams, and that's it. Checking the inside. Yeah. It's like a second disc, but we don't mention them. We don't mention that disc at all. <laughs> it includes like remixes and stuff, but they're not that good. And there we go to Plastic Beach. Yeah, I like the back cover. My favourite tracks have to be White Flag, Empire Ants, Glitter Free, Some Kind of Nature, On Medicare Hill, Broken, Plastic Beach, and Pirate Jet. Um, this is the inside. It's like a fold out in cardboard, which is isn't that great, but uh, what you can do it. 
if you put it in like in a case then it defeats the whole purpose of the the plastic like toxic waste plastic thing it, oh god i don't know <laughs> let's go to the next album next up we have the fall which it's a it's a fine enough album but ain't clearly ain't the greatest goodest album my favorite tracks on there might be revolving doors um Joplin Spider is kind of cool. Parish of Space Dust, I'm a Willow, Aspen Forest, and Bobby and Phoenix. This is the inside. Yeah, no, not that special, ain't it? But yeah. If you know about the history of this album, then. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, depending on these albums, I don't have a lot to say. But I try to do this in a short amount of time, so. So here, I have two versions of the Good Withers uh, singles collection. Uh, check in the backs of both of these. So this version just opens up and you get this with a banana disc. And this version, you open up, it's like a digit pack. One side has the CD and the other side has posters and a DVD that has all their music videos, which is awesome if you find this for a kind of a pretty cheap price go and buy it it's a cool collector's thing to have but if you don't then if you could get this version if you want to but you know if you have enough money get the deluxe edition if you don't mind non blu-ray quality music uh music videos <laughs> on the dvd um Next up, we have uh, Humans. Here's my 2D version. It, everyone doesn't seem to really like this album. Well, some people do, some people don't, but I like this album. One of their best, in my opinion. My favorite tracks have to be Strobe Light, Ascension, Sands Bars, Charger, Andromeda, um, Bust in the Blue, Carnival, She's My Collar, and Hallelujah Money. And we go to the deluxe edition right here. I'm right now having flashbacks to my first ever video. I'm going to review the Humans album, the deluxe edition. But um, it includes it doesn't include the track listing on the back. But my if I try to remember the deluxe tracks, my favourite have to be Ticker Tape and Out of Body. Um. Halfway through the halfway house is fine, but not that great. It, it folds out, you get 2D and Murdoch, and then you see Russell over there. And then over here you see those who, who fear music are dangerous. You check on the inside, it's like a little booklet of like art uh, and stuff. Which I won't go through this video because of time, but yeah. It's a pretty solid album. Pretty great album, I mean. Um, next up, we have the final one out of the bunch. Um, we have the Now Now, which I like. It's not great, it's not air, it's just good. My favourite tracks have to be Humility, Trans, Kansas, Sorcerers, Lake Suic, Magic City, Fireflies, and 1%. This is the inside. Yeah. And that's it. Um, I might get this on Machine CD once it comes, but right now we don't have it, so... Hmm. Now, that's the last band-filled album stuff that I have for, for today, so... Let's go to the other stuff. So, we go to JZ, or Z. It's more natural for me to say Z, but... In, a, in Britain, we say Z, so Jay-Z. Or JZ with the blueprint. People say it's classic. I kind of, I pretty agree. I can see where people are coming from. Ain't the, ain't the best JZ Z album that I've heard. But, um, it's still a very good album. Um, my favorite tracks have to be Takeover, um, Izzo, uh, Hola Hufito, Hola Hufito, um, Renegade, and that's it. 
I mean, it actually does well in its first game. I'm going to tell you that much. Um, and this is the inside. And uh, yeah, it's still a very pretty good album. Next up, we have 444. It is, I think, his final album ever. Which, if so, then what a way to get out, go out of that, am I right? Uh, this is the inside. My favourite tracks, the ones I could think of right now, is Story of OJ and um, 444. But yeah, I, this is my favourite Jay, Jay-Z album so far. I am planning to listen to all of his albums pretty really soon, but for right now, this is my favourite one out of the ones I've listened to. Um, next up, we have uh, Jeff Rain's musical version of War of the Worlds. It's an album that you could just turn on and just go sleep to it or just relax. It's like an orchestral version of uh, War of the Worlds, of like the book I think it is, or the movies, I don't know. This is the back. It has, inside it has the CD and the booklet, which has art and like credits and that stuff. Yeah, if you like War of the Worlds or you just... Want to have an orchestral album that just you want to turn off your mind to? You could go get it. Uh, I think it's still being played nowadays, like forty years after it's been made, which says a lot, pretty much, about how good this thing is. Even though I normally don't come back to it, but one when I do it, it's pretty good. And uh, yeah. Hey everyone, I made a massive liar out of myself, and I have one extra uh, artist worth full of albums that I have left. So, we have a bunch of Kanye albums on here. This is not all of them, but what would you do? It's still plenty of Kanye. So we start off with The College Dropout, a good album. My favourite tracks on here might have to be, um... Jesus Walks, um, New Workout Plan, um, trying to remember more, All Falls Down, um, trying to remember more, Through the Wire, Family Business, and Get Em High, and Two Words. This is, uh, inside of the album, you know, selling your merch, which I don't think is selling anymore. But, um, it's still a pretty classic album. It changed hip hop in a way, uh, if I remember. And it's a pretty good um, debut album for someone who's eventually going to become one of the most famous artists in the world, which is awesome. Next up is a B side album, I think it is. Um, it's Freshman Adjustment. This is the first one, I think, out of three. I could be wrong though. It has like B sides and like takes and like all that, like versions of tracks that are on the kind of drop out. This is the one out of the three for one quid albums that I had, along with D Travel World. And this is the inside. And I got it, this one, because one quid, like that is very good. Or technically 33p. What a, what a deal. <laughs> Next up, Late Registration. Very solid out. Uh, I need to stop saying that, but I do like this album. My favourite tracks have to be Roses, Gold Digger, um, Crack Music, um, Diamonds with Sierra Leone, the one with Jay Z on it. Um, and I think that's it. I can't think of any more. This is the inside. Um, yeah, it people uh, is people I've uh either with uh this prefer this album or the college dropout. But for me right now I prefer college dropout a bit. So still a very good album. Not much to complain to about this one. This one, if you talk about the first three albums out of the bunch or like the first two albums, two studio albums. People are, you know what, eh, whatever. 
Ugh. I can't get my word out of my mouth. Ugh. Um, graduation. My favourite out of the college, school, education series of albums. People think his albums are outdated in his sound, which, yeah, I'll probably say so, but still a very great album from him. Probably my second favourite album from him. And um, this is the inside. My favourite tracks have to be um, Stronger, I Wonder, Champion, Good Morning, Homecoming, Flashing Lights, Can't Tell Me Nothing, A Good Life. Those are the ones I think are top of my head right now, but... But yeah, this is, this is a very good album. Check it out if you, if you can. If you haven't heard that at least. Now this is my favourite Kanye album. Controversial, knowing which one this is. But it's anyway, it's an art break. I do like the singing on the album. I like the old tune. It's, yeah, I know. Weird. This is, this is a pretty depressing album. But still good. <laughs> my favourite tracks have to be Welcome to Heartbreak. Heartless, Amazing, Love Lockdown, Street Lights, and Bad News, and also Coldest Winter, but yeah. This is the inside of the album. Um, yeah. It includes like a poster and a booklet, I think, if I remember. And one of the posters, pictures, was Kanye and his mother, who died, uh, the mother died around the time of graduation's release, I think, and and a, a picture of just Kanye himself, and yeah, it's an album that deals with grief, and I don't know about you, but it's my favourite album from him, and probably one of my favourite albums of all time. Now here's an album that people either love or don't like, love it or hate it, and I think a lot more people love it, and it is... Might be the word about Twitter Fantasy. I like this album. I don't think it's its absolute best or the best of all time. But I would say this is his best album that he released this decade at least. All the other albums didn't hit that level of of this of his musicality. This is the inside. Includes that really controversial cover that was censored. Uh, the disc. Um uh, my favorite track has to be Power, Gorgeous, Dark Fantasy, uh, So Appalled, Run Away, Hell of a Life. As long, uh, people don't like that one a lot, but I like it. So, hmm. and I can't think of more. So, might as well just move on from that one and go up to the one and only Jesus. Yeah, look at it. It's not. It's not a bootleg, guys. This is how it's actually sold. I was going to open it, but there's no point in opening it since you see it all right here. It's, I think it's another album that is another album that you just love or hate it. I like it. It's it's a bit of a dark album, but still solid. My favorite tracks had to be uh, Black Skinhead, uh, Blood on the Leaves, and New Slays. Those are my favorite ones. Um, yeah, that's what I have to say, pretty much. And Send It Up is pretty solid as well. So, yeah. And then the final one out of the bunch, I might get the collaborative album he did with Kid Cudi soon and Jesus King, but right now I don't, so. But, yeah, we have EA. Um, there's no Life of Pablo, because that's only released on uh, streaming services, which is annoying. But whatever, it's not that great of an album in the first place. It's still, I like this one, but it ain't uh, ain't the greatest album from him, ever. Ain't that great of an album. My favourite tracks have to be Yikes and No Mistakes. Everything else is just alright. This is the inside, going full-blown Jesus mode again. <laughs> but at least it has a cover. Uh, yeah. That's it for Kanye albums. And the rest of these are just other albums from other artists, so let's get right into it. Let's get through these last batch of albums, starting with the king of pop, Michael Jackson, with Escape. This is the only um, studio album that I have from him on CD, but 
I might get more in the future, but they're normally either I'm not interested in them, but or they're just too expensive. But um, my third track's on here. No, a love never felt so good, and the Justin Timberlake one. Uh, Place with no name, slaves to the rhythm, and escape are my favorite ones. Yeah, check on the inside. Yeah, this is a posthumous release. Just in case if you don't know, released after his death. Um, I like it. I normally don't. I'm not a big fan of posthumous albums, but this one's pretty fun. Uh, pretty good. Timberland did pretty well on his out. Uh, on his production of the album, he includes the original recordings of all these songs as well. But I don't normally go to those ones, so not a lot to say about those. And um, yeah, that's. It's a pretty good album. Let's go to the next one. So, we, these next ones are two compilations from the King of Pop himself, Michael Jackson. Starting with Essential Michael Jackson. It's a compilation album. I don't have a lot to say. You check on the inside. It includes two discs, two on top of each other. I don't remember the last time I've used this, but... Still good... It's a nice compilation of album uh, songs uh, throughout his entire career, up to his death at least, and um, yeah. Let's, and then we go to the last compilation from him, Michael Jackson. Number ones. It's the same deal with Essential Michael Jackson, but with all his number one songs. It's like the Beatles album, the Beatles one, but with Michael Jackson. This is the inside. Yeah. Next up is a soundtrack to an album, uh, to a movie that I really love. Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse. I like the holographic uh, thing. I like the holographic cover. You move down and see Miles' uh, face. Um, my favourite tracks on here are What's Up Danger, Sunflower. It, it, it grew on me less since then, but it's still a nice enough song. Start a riot, um, elevate and home are my favourites. Checking the inside, it include um, the booklet includes frames uh, from the movie, which the animation for the movie is fucking beautiful. I don't know about you, but those could be like every single frame could literally be like it came from a comic book. It's is that good? <laughs> If you haven't checked the movie out, you, you need to check it at least for yourself. It's a very great movie. Just because it was made by Sony, that doesn't mean it's terrible. And yeah, check out the soundtrack as well. I don't. Just because you only heard Sunflower, that doesn't mean. I you like this now. I'm not going to complain about Sunflower anymore. But yeah, check out, check out the soundtrack. It's very good. These next couple are kind of in the same. Shebang, but I don't even know why I said that. But these are compilations of Christmas songs. Yeah, what shall I say? I got this from Poundland and I got this from Mazda. Check in the back, just a bunch of Christmas songs. This one has like plenty of the stuff inside. It's like it's like very long and you know, all that stuff. Oh shit! And then this one, the inside is just bare. Clearly shows that it's from Poundland. So, yeah. I just really want to get through this now because I don't. I think we're like forty minutes into the thing. And uh, next up, we have the second to last album we have here. We have the Ferv with the Ray's hits. I don't really listen to the Ferv. <laughs> it was just one of the one for three quid ones, three for one quid ones that we had previously. The only song I've listened to on here is um, Bittersweet Symphony, which I do like, so that's why I got it. The inside is this. Wait, what does that say? Stood at the top of the hill over my town. I was found finding myself. Used to be hard, but now I see the light. This is music. Ooh. <laughs> and then now, we are on the final album. This one could be controversial in a way, knowing his past, but I think it's an alright album. Uh, album. 
it grew on me less over the years because I've listened to more music, but yeah, let's go. Question mark by XSX Nutashion. Yeah, I know, call me Air George, I don't care. My favorite tracks on here might have to be Moonlight, Remedy for a Broken Heart, Numb, Affinity, 888, Going Down, and I don't even speak Spanish. LOL. But, um, yeah, let's see the inside. I do, like the, I do actually like the inside. Something about it looks pretty cool. I thought about getting the deluxe edition, but, like, I don't even like the album that much to actually get it, so... Eh. Might, I'm not going to do that, then. So... Recipes, XSX on. He died pretty tragically, but... Might as well just... He'll, he'll be known for a while. And his music will live on throughout life, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> and that's it for the album. Oh my lord. <laughs> but yeah, I try to explain all these tricks I can. Um, I am planning to be like that, uh, the Gubbers collection videos where I do one every single year. So what updates, what's updated and what's not. That makes no sense, but you know what I mean. Every year I'll do a new version of this, updated, and yeah, this is William Stephen Powders, and you just watched my video, believe it or not. <laughs> bye bye.